do want to say a special hello. We appreciate everybody that has come by. Uh, somebody who just stopped by a moment ago, Rayanna stopped by and said hello. We appreciate them listening. And she asked if we could give a uh, shout-out. This, this would sort of be to the family. Uh, she mentioned her late papa, Gary Randolph, big fan, would listen to the station all the time, and uh, asked if we could give a mention there and said we would happily do that. Appreciate uh, appreciate the support of the station and uh, appreciate them stopping by. So Rayanna wanted to give a shout-out to her late papa, big fan, Gary Randolph. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's what makes all this so cool is the, uh, the we talk about being in the community, connecting, being able to get out, talking to Tennessee fans, talking about what's going to happen this upcoming weekend, or if you're pulling for a different team, talking about what's going on in the sports world. You know, when you uh, go through the recruiting process, you know, it's about you. Everything is about you. How the school is going to help you reach your goals and dreams. you got all these schools telling you how great you are. Everything is about you. And then, you know, you pick your school and you go to school and you realize that there's a bunch of guys on the team that are just as good as you. And you got to work your way up to get back to the place you were uh, when you was in high school and you were the kind of the top dog. Um, but then there's another layer. You start understanding how it's bigger than you when you start meeting fans that take Tennessee football so serious, and it means so much. Um, I love that story, and I appreciate her coming by and letting us know that. But I think about another gentleman. Um, his name is Josh Hazelwood, and we saw him last year at a remote, and his grandpa had passed away, and he had decorated – his tombstone and the grass right there, he, he checkered it like a, like a checkerboard end zone. Yep, I remember. And um, I remember when we beat Alabama, and he said, man, my, my granddad would have loved to have seen that. And so, um, so he would be so proud. And I know he's up there watching. And, um, you know, as a player in this football team, like I've never heard those stories because you're so isolated. Uh, you don't have social media. You don't get a chance to interact with the fans because you got compliance so afraid that there's going to be an NCAA violation. And so you, you try to keep players and fans away from each other because you're afraid of a booster. But now you can hear some of those stories through social media, but we understand the other part of social media too. But I wish more players, not just Tennessee players, more players would hear – how much Tennessee football, Tennessee athletics mean to fans. And you do have your fans that get disrespectful, that say things they shouldn't say. But instead of channeling your energy energy there, how about you channel your energy to the people that live and breathe Tennessee football and go talk to someone who's been going to Tennessee games for 50 years or they've had tickets in their families for longer, or they're on their deathbed, and the last thing that they say is, go Vols, or, man, I just hope we beat Alabama, or we beat Florida. I bet that does something to you. Um, this is why I love doing doing this, Josh, is um, I get a chance to, to, to experience and hear all these stories and how much Tennessee football means to, to fans. Um, it's real powerful. I, I hope one day that um, a players are able to hear more of stories like this. I do think in the NIL world where the conversation often comes back to the money, but we do try to bring up, hey, they're, they're in the community more, yeah. that there, there are more opportunities than you probably yeah. had because they're, just, they're, they're getting face-to-face time with fans more often. Yeah, 100%, man. And they do a lot of, uh, which you did as well, but do a lot of cool things like going to East Tennessee Children's Hospital. Yep. You know, that that, uh, that means so much, and that's kind of a different conversation, but uh, that means so much to be around the fans and make that kind of connection because I, we've been at remotes where some folks have stopped by. Uh, there was a gentleman, I think, when we were just down the road from here that he had been in a car accident, and uh, you and a few players went to visit him, and you visited some other people yep. as well. But 20 years later, 15 to 20 years later? Yeah. Yep, so I'm in the basketball game. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, Think about that. 
Yeah, man, it was uh, it's powerful, man. It, it, you know, it's re- it really is it's powerful, powerful stuff. So, um, man, it kind of makes you it makes your eyeballs sweat. Is what my man Turkey Man would say mm-hmm. when you kind of when you kind of think about it. My first like real like wow moment after playing was I was in the G five parking lot and um, I had met a gentleman. I was tailgating and I, I met a gentleman who was from from Memphis and. Uh, he was like, yeah, I'm from Memphis, man. We come to, to every home game. I'm like, huh? <laughs> every home game? It's like, yeah, every home game. You mean noon games? Every home game? It's like, yeah, yeah, every home game. Every home game we come to. Memphis ain't around the corner. <laughs> no, it's. It ain't down the street. Yeah. It ain't, hey, I'll be there in a little bit. Or hop in a skip. Memphis far. Memphis on the other side. Memphis is in Arkansas, damn near. That's that's the commitment. That's the love and the passion um, that, like, you heard about. Like, when coaches recruit you, they go, hey, man, Tennessee fans are passionate. There's 100,000 people in the stands. The fall walk is, is great. But they're not – the fans are not talking to you. They're just showing you their, their love and their passion by showing up. But when you hear it, when you hear a fan telling you, about their grandpa or their grandma or what they do every 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 fall Saturday. It just takes it to another level, man. It really does. And that's why I feel like these these players, man, they and listen, they don't sometimes they don't know cuz you're so caught up in this bubble mm-hmm. and you're trying to you going to school, you going to you know, class, you film, you practice. So sometimes you just you're in your own world. I get that cuz I was there. But like Man, if, if, if more college football players knew what that logo that they they wear every single day that sometimes they take for granted, if they knew what that logo meant to some of these fans, I think it would change their perspective so much. And maybe they play better. Maybe they play harder. Maybe they play with a sense of, more of a sense of purpose. I don't know, man. I'm going to shut up before I start crying. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, whew. good stuff. Good stuff today.